Hello my friends, it's May 21st, 2018 and it's time for today's big story. I don't know why, but Monday morning in Japan, very early Monday morning, um, Capcom decided to announce that they're bringing uh, Resident Evil 7 to the Switch. And if I just left the story there, everyone would be happy. <laughs> That's not the end of the story. Now, we, we posted this news last night because it was still Sunday night here, so uh, people have been talking about it all day. Certainly the biggest news of the day uh, today and, you know, yesterday for us, this morning for Japan. But uh, there's some rumors and stuff out there to talk about not related to this. But I figured let's talk about something that's real. So Resident Evil 7 is coming to the Switch. But it's the cloud version of the game. So that's a little bit different than just the game itself. You're going to need a steady internet connection to play the game because you're going to be streaming it to your Switch. Now this is only an ask for Japan. It may be an ask for North America and Europe. I don't know. But here's how it works. You stream it to the Switch. You, have, you get 15 minutes for free. If you want to continue, you pay for basically is what a digital ticket and that's like 18 bucks roughly 18 bucks so it'll probably be 20 bucks here you pay that and you get uh over 100 days i don't remember what it is 160 180 days something like that to play the game um if you play the game that long and you don't finish it or don't do all the content and you don't renew your ticket then you uh can't play the game anymore and on top of that just because your game is saved through the cloud uh, you would think that it would still be there even if your if your payment lapsed, but that's not the case. Capcom says it might not be there. Uh, I guess it depends on how long after you renew your subscription or get another ticket, I should say. So you're going to want to keep on top of that. But yeah, basically you're going to be playing a streamed version of Resident Evil 7, the full game with all the DLC, for $20. You don't own the game, you're renting it. Um, and you have a certain amount of time to get through it and see it all. So when you're done, if you finish it in the amount of time the ticket lasts and you've played everything and that's it, you're done. Like, you have no attachment to the game. The download for the streaming service, whatever you want to call it, it's like 45 megs, so it takes up no space on your system. But, uh, when all is said and done, then it, that's it. It's over. So, people are, uh... I'm going to say they're negative about this so far. I've seen a lot of negative comments. I haven't seen too many positive. Um, it just seems like fans are upset that they get Res Resident Evil 7, but they're getting it this way. Mr. Rye on Go Nintendo says, This company, they did a good thing with the Monster Hunter announcement, but have quickly found a way, a new way to demoralize their fans with this. Like I said, people aren't happy. They don't want to rent a streaming version of a game. They want the actual game to be on Switch. They want to go purchase it digitally or at retail and own it forever. And certainly that would be the best way, but that's not happening. Now, I don't know... I don't know how I feel about this. I do think it's cool that Switch owners will get to experience Resident Evil 7 in some way. Um, I don't think it's going to be the best way, certainly, but they will get a chance to experience it some way. Now, as far as the streaming service goes, I, I have more than decent internet. I'm perfectly fine, but I've used streaming services to play games before, like uh, PS Now, I guess it is. And uh, all my experiences have been enough for me not to want to play it. There's just too much input lag. I'm not talking about, like, you know, three seconds or something like that, but definitely a noticeable lag that made me not enjoy the experience um the last one i tried i think was Mega Man 10 9 or 10 whatever one um which i played on uh the wii when they came out but uh i was playing it on there and the input lag was terrible um it made the game for me in my mind unplayable i was reacting to what the streaming service was doing rather than what was going on in the game and it just didn't make it made the game not fun so uh, that was my experience with streaming and I, I didn't like it uh, now a platformer is different than Resident Evil 7 obviously Resident Evil 7 is a little bit more slower paced for the most part but there are moments where you need to react quickly and, and you know think on your feet and stuff like that and depending on how the streaming service works I don't know if it's gonna be uh, I don't know if it's gonna be able to handle that I don't know how bad the input lag is gonna be Maybe it won't be noticeable. I honestly don't know, but I am worried, so I do understand why fans are upset. And uh, I, I haven't had good experiences so far, so I'm kind of with them. I don't want to crap on Capcom because they're doing something. Uh, obviously, they didn't have to do this. We don't, again, we don't know if it's going to leave Japan. It's an interesting idea, 
if it works well, then I, I would be more open to other games doing this in the future, but it doesn't seem too positive so far. But yeah, I don't want, I don't want to crap all over the company for them trying to bring a game to the Switch. Now, why aren't they doing the full game or the regular game, game, I guess we should call it? I don't know. Maybe it can't run on Switch. Maybe they couldn't get it to run on Switch. Maybe it's too costly for them to try and get it to run on Switch. Maybe they'd have to rebuild the game from scratch. I honestly don't know what the reason is. I don't know that Capcom's ever going to tell us, but... Here's the way we're going to get Resident Evil 7. So I'm interested to know what do you guys think. Are you going to... Uh, if this comes here, because the Japanese version is only going to be in Japanese, no English. If this comes to other places, are you open to trying it? Are you okay with basically renting the game and not owning it? Are you okay with streaming it? Do you have internet that can handle that? Let me know how you feel about this overall, because I'm really interested to see what you have to say. All right, my friends, that's today's big story for May 21st, 2018. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. I'll be back tomorrow for whatever tomorrow's big story is, and I sure hope you'll join me to check it out. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot.